What's up all you ghosts and ghouls, my name is Haunter Chad back again to bring you another product for the tabletop series. And in this video we're going to be taking a look at this. This is the 12.5 inch Halloween Classics battery operated animated lighted talking rotten jack-o-lantern. That is a long, long name for it. But you know, we got another talking jack-o-lantern. Woohoo! So, this was one of the two that you can find at Home Depot, and this was the only one that I saw up there, so... This one itself is a really unique design, I think, for this. Because usually it's just a bunch of the orange talking pumpkins that we get. I mean, not like this, but, you know, just orange pumpkins in general. But it's cool to have a kind of albino pumpkin, or a white gourd pumpkin, or something like that. I didn't try this with the last video, but here's kind of a close-up of some of the stuff. You can see the sensor right there in the middle. And it's really painted, or it's got this dirty wash paint over it, and that's really nice. As far as this being in the light and stuff, it looks fine. If we were to turn on the actual things themselves, which I'll go ahead and show you down here. Please install new batteries before use. I have not done that. Whoops. So there's where the Try Me jack would go right there, and you got it off, and a sensor right here, and the speaker's right here. So we'll just go ahead and flip that now. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, here's where I get into my least favorite thing about this one. This one is probably my least favorite out of the three, just because of the phrases. <laughs> Have you come for a treat? Or for a trick? <laughs> so the guitar and stuff in the background is really nice, but these are the same audios that you hear in a whole bunch of props. I mean, they, they pitched it up slightly. <sighs> <laughs> but y'all know what I mean. It's is it really that hard to pull someone aside and say, "Hey, can you say these spooky phrases in a spooky voice?" Well, yes, of course I can. <laughs> so I'm gonna run through the phrases real fast. <laughs> oh, sorry, Halloween just brings up the I will admit, it does have a really nice face whenever it moves. It's kind of better than the other pumpkin that I took a look at. I'm not sure if the LED eyes kind of work with the black insides of it because it's just kind of hidden. But then again, here, if we... Let's turn our lights off and then see what happens. Have you come for a treat? Or for a trick? <laughs> lights coming back on now. And so that, that kind of doesn't work for me. I, you will have to have this thing in a lit environment or else it's going to look silly, I think. Uh, turn them off real fast. Yet another creature of the night approaches. <laughs> Here I'm going to put the other pumpkin beside of it. That way you can get a good idea of what they look like together. There they are from the side, the backs, other side, and facing forward. This one's my least favorite so far, but it's still kind of nice to have, you know, for a, a kind of cute decoration to have around. It kind of pairs well with this one. I can't wait to get the third one, and I think there's a mini one at Walmart. Like the, There's like one that's the size of these, and then there's a tiny one like that big. I haven't seen either of those yet, but I'll keep an eye out for them, and I will definitely post them on the channel once I get them. So I know y'all might be wanting to see it, but here they are at the same time. Alright, and the 
last thing that we're going to look at here is the tag. So let's get real close up here. So there is the tag right there. And here's the little try me button here. And here's the wire that it goes to. So let's try to open this up. I think these are the instructions and all the words and things and stuff. So yeah, if you like this video, then make sure to scare the like button and keep it spooky with Haunter Chad by subscribing. And I will see you all in the next video.